Black Friday retail sales online this year topped $1 billion for the first time ever as more consumers used the internet to their early holiday shopping, Comscore Include said on Sunday. Online sales jumped 26% on Black Friday to $1.04 billion from sales of $816 million on the corresponding day last year, according to Comscore data. Amazon.com was the most visited retail website on Black Friday, and it also posted the highest year-over-year visitor growth rate among the top five retailers. Walmart Stores Includes website was second, followed by sites run by Best Buy Company, Target Corporation and Apple Include, Comscore noted. Digital content and subscriptions, including ebooks, digital music and video, was the fastest-growing retail category online with sales up 29% versus Black Friday last year, according to Comscore data. E-commerce accounts for less than 10% of consumer spending in the United States. However, it is growing much faster than bricks and mortar retail as shoppers are lured by low prices, convenience, faster shipping and wide selection. ShopperTrack, which counts foot traffic in physical retail stores, estimated Black Friday sales of $11.2 billion, down 1.8% from the same day last year. ID, NL1 Number 1 P4. Online has been around 9% of total holiday sales, but it could reach 10% for the first time this season, said Scott Wingo, chief executive of Channel Advisor, which helps merchants sell more on websites, including Amazon.com and eBay.com. Comscore expects online retail spending to rise 17% to $43.4 billion through the whole holiday season. That is above the 15% increase last season and ahead of the retail industry's expectation for a 4.1% increase in overall spending this holiday. It's not clear yet whether strong Black Friday sales online will weaken growth on Cyber Monday, which has been the biggest e-commerce day in the United States in recent years. Cyber Monday will be a big day but not as much of a big day as it has been in the past, said Missing in Action Shirt Knopf, Executive Vice President for Chase Payment Tech, a payment processing unit of JP. Morgan Chase & Co. Faster broadband internet connections in the office used to drive this. But now many consumers have faster connections at home and smartphones and tablets, they don't have to wait. Mobile Shopping Growth a big source of online shopping growth this holiday season has come from increased use of smartphones, which let people buy online even when they are in physical stores, and buy tablet computers, which have spurred more online shopping in the evenings, Wingo and others said. Mobile devices accounted for 26% of visits to retail websites and 16% of purchases on Black Friday. That was up from 18.1% and 10.3%, respectively on the same day last year, according to International Business Machines, which analyzes online traffic and transactions from 500 U.S. retailers. Amazon and eBay benefit from increased use of mobile devices for shopping because they are consistently the top two online retail destinations for mobile users, Channel Ad Business Wingo said. Amazon.com was the most visited retail website on Black Friday, with more than 28 million visits, according to Hitwise. Worth noting, eBay runs one of the largest online marketplaces, rather than being a retailer, so its online traffic was not reported by hit twice. However, eBay said the volume of mobile transactions on its marketplace jumped 153% on Black Friday from a year earlier. Channel Ad Deezer clients' same store sales on Amazon.com shot up 38% on Black Friday, compared with a year earlier. Last year's year-over-year -year growth was 50%. Client same store sales on eBay's marketplace rose 31% on Black Friday, compared with a year earlier. Last year's year over year growth was 15%, according to Channel Ad Visor. Price pressure. While mobile devices may be good for sales, they may not be so good for retail profit margins. Smartphones give shoppers real time access to product prices online, potentially exacerbating the usual holiday discounting and price wars. Black Friday online transactions jumped almost 30%, but the average ticket price was down more than 11%, according to Chase Payment Tech, which reports data from its 50 largest e-commerce merchant clients. It's driving prices down, Shirtnoff said. Consumers are checking prices in stores and showing the retailer, and the retailer will succumb to the lowest price online so they don't lose the consumer, 